Good morning and welcome to Wake Up With Jay. Uh, sun shining outside today. It's supposed to be about 57, 60 degrees, which is really nice for over here. Today, we're going to take off with uh, Napoleon Hill. And his quotation is, There are no limitations to the mind except those we acknowledge. Both poverty and riches are those... I'm sorry, I'm going to repeat that one. Both poverty and riches are the offsprings of our thought. That's heavy. You know, uh, I was doing some reading earlier, and rather than come up with Jay's motivational quote, I want y'all to bear with me, because we're going to be for a couple minutes in Think and Grow Rich. I found something that I just said, i got to try and squeeze this in in four or five minutes. All right? And... It's from the section, actually it's page 45 in the book I'm reading. Okay, it says self-confidence formula. Okay, self-confidence formula. The only way you're going to make it in business. It says first, I know that I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite purpose in life. Therefore, I demand of myself persistence, continuous action toward its attainment, and I here and now promise to render such action. So first of all, we're starting out by making a promise to ourselves. And then number two, it says, I realize the dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce themselves in awkward physical action and gradually transform themselves into physical reality. Therefore, I will concentrate my thoughts for 30 minutes daily upon the task of thinking of the person I intend to become thereby creating in my mind a clear mental picture of that person. So, who do you want to be? What do you want to become? You have to make a mental picture of it. Now follow on with me, okay? It says, third, I know through the principle of auto-suggestion and any desire that I persistently hold in my mind, I will eventually seek expression through some practical meaning of attaining the object back of it. Therefore, I will devote 10 minutes daily to demanding of myself I'll go back, to demanding of myself the development of self-confidence. So, you remember I was talking earlier about talking to yourself in the mirror? I'm not crazy. It's right here. This was a book that was written over 70 years ago and still holds true today. Number four, I have clearly written down a description of my definite chief aim in life. What is that? Your vision. Okay? And I will never stop trying until I shall have developed sufficient self-confidence for its attainment. Number five. I love this one. Okay? I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. Therefore, I will engage in no transaction which does not benefit all whom it affects. So it means you've got to be dealing honestly in your business. Okay, I will succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of other people. I will induce others to serve me because of my willingness to serve others. i got to go back. <laughs> I will induce others to serve me because of my willingness to serve others. What does Zig say? You get anything in life you want as long as you help enough other people get what they want. I will eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness, and cynicism by developing a love for all humanity because I know that a negative attitude towards others can never bring me success. I will cause others to believe in me because I will believe in them in myself. Wow. Now look, I know because of time I can't really go back into it, but I just want you to think about those words and go to page 45 in Think and Grow Rich. It's the greatest $8 investment that you ever make. Now I've got to flip forward to page 47 because this is, this is a, a uh, more of a poem, but this is heavy. And this is under this statement is a true as the statement that two and two are four. I'm going to read that again. This is a... This statement is as true as the statement that two and two are four. Well, I'm 63, and it's been that way a long time, okay? But please, bear with me on this. This is just beautiful. If you think you're beaten, 
you are. If you think you are, you dare not, you don't. If you like to win but you think you can't, it is almost certain you won't. If you think you lose, you're lost. For out of the world we find success begins with a fellow's willingness. It's all in the state of the mind. We're back to your thought. Success starts in the mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, but soon or late the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. I've got to read that. But sooner or later, <laughs> to my opinion, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. You know, <laughs> must I say more? Okay, it all starts right there. Okay, folks, you can, you can do it. You just have to believe in yourself. You have to talk in yourself. So again, page 45, page 47, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Go out and get it. All right, and whatever you do, what does Jay always say? Your day will be happier if you go out and bless someone today. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.